You were talking about Paloma. And you said you couldn't stand to lose another one of your children. As if you were Luis and Antonio's father. Who are you, Mr. Wheeler? We have to go. The farther that Paloma gets with the kidnapper in the jungle, the harder it is to find her. I want to find her, too. But I need to know what you meant when you said you couldn't stand to lose another one of your children. Now tell me. What do you want from me? First Antonio, then Luis. Now my Paloma's in danger. I can't let this go on. I won't. My God. Are you Luis's father? Are you Martin Fitzgerald? The way you've been acting since Luis and I got to Mexico. And now you say you can't stand to lose another one of your children. My God, is it possible? Are you Luis's father? Are you Martin Fitzgerald? What I meant was that I've always felt so close to Paloma. And I know Mrs. Wheeler feels the same way. She's like a daughter to us. Tia Maria said you were her unofficial godparents. Exactly. And I, I think that the reason I'm so attached to Luis's younger sister is because... I could never see my own child. Yeah, you might say that we you know, adopted her in our own special way. And, you know, we've always heard so much about her brothers and her sister, Teresa. We feel like we know them personally. I mean, I don't think that either Mrs. Wheeler or myself realized how attached we'd become to the family until we heard about Antonio's death. And now Louise. My husband is just emotional and frightened for Paloma. Poor girl. She must be so scared. Now, as hard as it is for us to accept the fact that we have to leave this place, it's you that we're most concerned about. This is a terrible, shocking loss. Yes, it is. And I'm... I'm sorry that I, I jumped to such an outlandish conclusion. I, I, my, my mind's just not working right. Honey, of course it isn't. Oh God, you're in shock. We're all in shock. Now, I, I think that we should come. We should go with, with my husband and the guide, and we should find Paloma. No, I, I can't leave Luis. What if he's alive in there? You heard? what our guide said, as strong and resourceful a young man as Louise is, was. There's no way that anyone could have survived the explosion of that magnitude. No, you don't know Luis like I do. All right, he's come through things like this, near-death experiences that would have killed anyone else, and he could be under those rocks, and unable to call to us for help. No, honey, you're grasping at straws, dear. I mean, I don't blame you, but there's only one chance in a million. I don't care if it's a chance in ten billion. If there's any hope, I am not going to give up on Luis. He wouldn't leave me, and I am not going to leave him. Luis! Luis, if you can hear me, please let me know. <laughs> Sure, we have to go. No, no, I can't. I can't leave. Not without knowing for sure. Senor Wheeler, I have an idea. Why don't I go ahead to see if I can pick up the kidnapper's trail? Between him and the young girl, there should be some sign of the direction they went. I'll come back and get you as soon as I pick up their tracks. You sure? Yes, I can move much faster on my own anyway. Then do it. Oh, you find them. Every minute counts. Si, sí, senor. Thank you. Thank you for understanding why I can't leave Luis. Hey, come on, let's let's go and try and move some rocks. You know, maybe we'll find his butt. Maybe we'll find Luis. <laughs> I won't give up on you, not ever! Darling, come here. Take a little rest. Just for a minute. Just for a minute. 
Okay. I won't give up. I'll rest for a little while, but then I'm going to go back to pushing and digging. Because if I just keep at it, I know I can get to. Oh, God. Oh, God, sweetheart. Don't cry. Let her be. I think she just needs a few minutes to herself. Yeah, it's my fault. All of it. There's D'Antonio's death and now Luis's. How can you say that? Because it's true. It's that damn curse I brought down on my family when I took you away from Alistair. That monster's exacting his revenge in the cruelest way possible. Punishing our children. Oh, it's just so not fair. If it weren't for him, we never would have left. He doesn't give a damn about any of that. All he knows is that you left him and I helped you. I wish that I could tell her who we really are. And if I'd only been able to tell Luis how proud I was of him before he... He'll never know how much I always loved him. She's just like you, Catherine. Stubborn. She won't budge without Louise. Just like me. But I wouldn't leave you behind in harmony. Okay, I pick up the trail. But we have to get moving. If we don't hurry, it would be very hard to track them. Then there's signs of two people? Yes. I make it out two sets of footprints. One is larger. Most likely it's a man. The other smaller. Oh, my God. Thank God she's still alive. All right, now we've got to hurry. Every second this creep has Paloma, it'll be harder to find her. I know that he's still alive. Now that's impossible, Sheridan. No one could have survived this explosion. I would know if he were dead. He's hurt, but he's still alive. I know it. I know you want it to be, Sheridan. It just can't be. Listen, listen, I'd give anything for Louis to be alive, but he's not. Now, the only chance that we have to save Paloma is by leaving now with our guide. It's true. The tracks are raised by the jungle before you know it. We have to leave now. We have to hurry if we're going to find them. I'm sorry, Sheridan, but we have to go. We have no choice. Now, come on. No! No! I won't leave Louise! Oh, Sheridan, sweetheart, Mr. Wheeler is only trying to do what's best. And how can you leave Louise in here when I know that he's alive? You guys have got to help him get out of here. Come on, Sheridan. Oh. No! Please! Please, 